Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and today I wanted to figure out which is better, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas or Railblazer at California's Great America. I recently just had a trip up to Northern California where I got to ride Railblazer and back in May I went to Texas to ride Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster and now I am honestly one of the few coaster enthusiasts or theme park enthusiasts that has been on both of these Raptor coasters and I figured it would be really fun to try and figure out which is the better of the two. Now technically they're almost straight up clones besides the fact that they're mere images of each other so one turns to the right and one turns to the left. That's the only real difference besides uh, I think another six feet of track or something like that on Railblazer but I'm going to be looking at everything that's different between these two coasters and I want to try and figure out which is best. Now I only have been on Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster once and I've gotten five rides on Railblazer but I'm gonna try and judge it to the best of my abilities between the two and have a full honest opinion on which is better. So to start it off let's talk about the overall surroundings around these coasters. For Railblazer, you have the backdrop of California's Great America. You've got this backstage area behind it, which, I mean, is okay. You've got, like, the first aid building there and some other buildings. And to the opposite side, you have this pathway that leads into Demon, and there's Berserker right there, which is another ride, and then along with Whitewater Falls. And there are these nice shaded areas along that pathway. But besides that, it's just a regular pathway, and some nice looking scenery around it. There's also this green area that's just a almost like a, a park with just grass and it's really nice looking. Whereas at Fiesta Texas you have this beautiful backdrop of the quarry wall and also it's over this lake which really does help the look of it uh, especially of, since how clear the lake is. It's very very blue and almost like glass at some points. You also have Superman Krypton coaster right next to it but besides that, there's nothing really around it. It's just kind of the star of that area if you walk up to it. You do have this pathway walking in, which is almost like 50s themed, and it's really nice. Um, w one of the better areas of a Six Flags Park, I would say, that I've been to. But besides that, it's just the coaster is the star of the show. So I'm really gonna have to give the overall surrounding area to Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. It just looks better. Um, kind of off by itself and it really just is in a much more beautiful area than Railblazer. I know some would argue but I'm not talking about the actual coaster itself or the theming of the ride just yet. I'm just talking about everything that's around it. Now let's move on to the queue. We'll start off with Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. You have this nice little winding pathway into some greenery that goes around the coaster and you get some great views of the coaster but you're kind of far away from it. You have these cattle pens or these switchbacks that are kind of off the side and you can't really see too much of the coaster when you're in them and then you wrap back around into the station. This Q building also has like a statue of Wonder Woman herself and is themed to an almost Roman classical architecture. But besides that, it's kind of just a regular pathway until you get to the, the switchbacks and then come around to the station. Railblazer, on the other hand, you go straight under the coaster itself and you get these great views of the coaster from in the queue just when it goes right above you or right to the side of you. It's pretty impressive how close this coaster can get to you while you're waiting in line. And even when you're in its own little section of switchbacks, you can see the coaster right to your left or right to your right or right above you even. So I honestly am going to have to give the queue to Railblazer. It's just a better queue, honestly, with, with being underneath the coaster. Now let's move on to something that separates these two coasters even more, they're theming. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster is obviously themed to Wonder Woman and her Golden Lasso of Truth. Railblazer is themed to ATVs on a trail in Northern California. Now besides these backstories, they do have theming elements that are physical and in the real world. Wonder Woman having these Greco-Roman styled 
queue housing buildings and station. And also it has this nice epic music that's always playing to kind of get you in the mood of Wonder Woman, I guess, and to, to kind of show you how intense the ride will be. Railblazer has this amazing rock work all around the coaster, and it really just makes you feel kind of like you're out in the middle of the woods. The only bad thing about Railblazer's theming, though, is that you have the fun TVs blaring ads and music videos and stuff like that to kind of it kind of takes away from you know being on that ATV or at least what you're supposed to be experiencing with the theming so I do like the music for Wonder Woman a heck of a lot more than you know an ad for Cedar Point which we saw a lot the other day in line for Railblazer and other attractions at Great America but the rock work and it's just so much better than nothing for theming wise. So I'm gonna have to give this to Railblazer. Now let's go on to the coaster itself. This next point is going to be given to the best color scheme, at least in my opinion. I know a lot of people will probably disagree with me on this, but anyways, let's, let's talk about the color schemes. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso coaster is yellow with its track and it has red supports, almost like a cherry red or something like that. And a lot of people kind of call it the French fry coaster just out of fun because it does look like a giant French fry, but it does kind of fit with um, the theming of her golden lasso of truth, saying that the track itself is the lasso. And then Railblazer has this kind of off orange, uh, kind of like orange and brown mixed together for its track. And it has these beige supports now, in videos and promotional material, I think a lot of people would say Railblazer looks better, but once you see both of these coasters in person, I would definitely say Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster looks better, for sure. It pops more, and it just looks prettier overall, color-wise. Now, let's move on to the trains of these two coasters. Railblazer has themed trains, at least with the front car, that are very much like ATVs and they even have little handlebars that you can grab onto and they have three different colors of trains, yellow, red, or pink depending on who you're talking to, and green or gray depending on who you're talking to. Now I think two of these trains look really good on the track. One of them is not the best looking. I think they could have gone with a different color on the red slash pink, but besides that, the trains look really good and really well themed, at least for the front car. I really wish I got a front row ride on it just so I could try and grab onto those handlebars. Now for Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, they have these very kind of plain coaster cars, I guess. They're, they're, they're not bad looking. They fit with the color scheme, but they're just kind of like a bubble front, which doesn't look bad. It's just a little boring compared to Railblazer, I would say. There's no like handlebar or anything, and it's not too well themed. It's just kind of a bubble on, on the front car, but it still looks good. But overall, I'd still have to give this point to Railblazer. Now let's get on the ride itself and experience each of these rides smoothness. Now there actually is a difference in smoothness between the two coasters that I noticed and that was especially on the last overbank turn and the brake run. So for Railblazer on the last overbank turn, you can even see some spots on the track where the paint has actually come off and you do kind of jitter around a little bit and it's not too bad to where it like hurts or anything, but it is noticeable. But besides that, everything else is really smooth for the coaster, except for that last overbank, it kind of just bumps a little bit. And for Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, when you come into the brake run and you go over the drive tires, you really kind of bounce on each tire, kind of violently almost. Not as bad as Railblazer. Railblazer does it a little bit, but not nearly as much as Wonder Woman. Uh, it definitely, every time it hits a drive tire, it just, it feels like you're going over a bump in a car, like a speed bump in a car. But besides that, I rode it opening day, so it's probably the smoothest it would have ever been. But there was no rough patches or anything like that on the ride, at least when I rode it. But to be honest with you, I can't choose a clear winner on which is smoother. They both have points of being really smooth and then tiny little bits of roughness uh, on different parts of the track. Now let's go on to the stations. Now this one's even going to be harder to choose because they both have different loading regimens that 
change how quick they can get a dispatch out. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster has a rolling station where the train slowly rolls through the station and does not stop unless they need to e-stop, of course. You can bring your bags on the ride and you can even hand it to a ride attendant, which will put them into a separate cubby for you to grab after the ride so you do not have to cross over the train to expand the dispatch time to an unwanted number. There are also different queues set up before you even line up for the coaster where you have to stand on a specific colored number and you get in line in that sort of fashion behind, if I was in blue number seven, I'd have to wait behind blue number six and so on. But it ends up being a much faster dispatch time than I would have ever thought uh, usually trains were getting out in about 25 seconds, so that's fantastic considering that each train can only hold eight people. Now for Railblazers Station, it does look better, I will give it that, but it does have a full-on stop where you do have to cross over the train and put your stuff in a cubby and then come back over and sit yourself down. Unless you have some specific crews I know were taking my bag and being super quick and super fast with it, but I had some other crews during the day that were not so fast. And we even had, I think, uh, a minute and 45 seconds, almost two minute dispatch time because of someone not taking off their glasses and not complying and I know that's not on the ride itself's fault or the station or the loading system but with it being a stop train he had the time to stand up slowly walk out and it just overall the dispatch times were not as good as Wonder Woman because you didn't have this urgency in the station to get going as quick as possible whereas with Wonder Woman it was go 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 as quick as you can to make sure you get on the ride and you have a fun time. So actually, I think I'm gonna have to give station and loading to Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. Now on to the final thing we will debate on which is better, Wonder Woman or Golden Lasso Coaster or Railblazer. This is the overall ride experience. Now, depending on who you are and what you like more, you will like one or the other depending on ride experience. So realistically, this is the biggest point. Uh, I won't be giving it like two points or anything, but this is the one that really means more than any of the others. But if you like a more open experience that isn't so claustrophobic and kind of makes you feel like you're kind of flying and gliding around in open air, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster is the way to go. Now, if you like claustrophobic and hand choppers, head choppers, always flying by something as quick as possible, Railblazer's the ride for you. Now, personally, I like a more intense ride, which is why I'm going to have to go with Railblazer on this one. It's just the head chopper that you get right after the first drop, the hand chopper too, and just this constant flying by something else just makes it a better ride, for me at least. And I'm going to have to give this point to Railblazer, no question about it. Now, I, I want you guys to give me your opinions on which is better in the comments overall, but it's really up to opinion. So let me know which is better. I will even put a poll right here and make sure to subscribe and like if you liked. It really helps us out. And as always, we'll see you on the next ride.